So this Dr. Hashka tutorial is going to be about the intensive care treatments like your exfoliation, your masks, and then your lip and eye treatments. So let's start with the eye creams. First of all, we've got the Daily Hydrating Eye Cream, which is an entry-level eye cream and an eye cream for almost everybody. Eye cream is only used in the day. You don't need to put eye cream on at night time. The Daily Hydrating Eye Cream, you literally need the size of a rice grain, um, a small, small, short grain rice grain. You want to warm it between your two fingers and then your application is just a pat, 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 pat on the, from the center towards the outside and then on the upper eyelid as well. So pat, 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 you're giving yourself a nice lymph treatment in the patting, so very gentle. Remember the eye area has got a floating muscle, the orbicularis oculi, one of my favorite uh, muscles. It's a floating muscle, doesn't have an insertion and, an, um, and a, a beginning and an end point. It's a circular floating muscle, so it's really important that one is very gentle when you are applying things around the eye area. Why do we need a separate eye cream as opposed to a day cream? So eye creams are made in a special way that they have finer oils that penetrate very quickly and easily deep into the skin instead of sitting more superficially like a day cream. So you want your eye creams to go in very quickly so that they don't sit and then maybe get onto the eyelashes and make you have slightly blurry vision all day. So eye creams are made in a very special way with very precious fine oils with a smaller um, oil size. Instead of a, a bigger molecule of oil, they've got smaller molecules of oil and they go into the, the eye tissue easier. The other thing is around the eye, you have the least amount of oil glands around the eye area. So you need a special formulation in an eye, eye cream. So your daily hydrating eye cream to only use in the daytime, and this is for everybody. The eye balm, eye contour day balm, is a waxy balm. It has a lot of um, beeswax um, in it in particular, which supports very dry um, skin around the eye. People that are outdoor a lot or have do a lot of sport outdoors, or you have particularly very dry skin. Uh, the waxes, you need to warm between your fingers, sort of let them melt for a, for a few seconds. And then again, the same application from the inside towards the outside. I always put the rest of the eye cream on the third eye and on the upper lip here. Just my own little tip. So the eye balm as well, only in the morning. And then in the Regen range, which is for mature skin, which we will get to in a, in a separate um, training video, the Regenerating Eye Cream is for from about sort of 40, 45 um, years old plus. Um, it has a little pump dispenser and this really is your premium eye cream for mature skin. And we all know once we get to about 40, 45, you will invest in anti-aging products. We don't like to use the word anti-aging, we rather use the word regenerating range, um, which is a more positive word to use. Um, we don't want to see aging as anything negative, but unfortunately we've all been a bit brainwashed into thinking that aging is not good. So we use regenerating eye cream. This um, is the best eye cream to prevent or to treat wrinkles around, around the eyes. And again, regenerating eye cream. Eye cream is used in the day. We want to leave the whole skin uh, oil-free at night time. So in one of the other training modules, we would have explained why we leave the skin oil-free at night time. The skin needs to breathe, rejuvenate and regenerate itself. If we give it creams at night time, the skin becomes a little bit lazy at night time. So we, to recap, we've got the daily hydrating eye cream. We've got for everybody. We've got the eye balm for exceptionally dry skin or people that spend a lot of time outdoors, um, sporting people, people that have careers that are outdoors or if you have exceptionally dry skin. And then the regenerating eye cream for your mature, mature skin just around the eyes. So that is eyes. 
Then we come to lip care products. We have a lip care stick and a lip balm. The lip care stick is in a nice handy applicator. Please note that our lip care products are completely free of mineral oil, petroleum, petrolatum. Unlike some, some other lip products that contain mineral oil and petroleum, we absolutely won't have those ingredients in our lip care products because you can become dependent on them. And you find the people that use those kind of lip products with mineral oil in it, they're reapplying about every sort of half an hour or every hour. It becomes very um, addictive and habit habit forming, and it's it's it draws moisture to the actual product instead of giving nourishment to the lips. So you can start a very vicious cycle if you use products with mineral oil, petroleum, petrolatum on your lips. So these are mineral oil free. While we're on that, minerals are good for you. Mineral oil is not good for you. So just differentiate between the two there. So minerals like magnesium and silica and calcium are good for you. But mineral oil is a byproduct of gasoline mining and it is not good for you. It is not a living oil. It is a dead oil. We won't use it. So the lip care stick. This is nice and handy. Mm -hmm -hmm. Nice, easy to use. The difference between the lip care stick and the lip balm is this is a slightly more intensive formulation for very, very, very dry lips. There's a nice brand spanking new one. But you obviously have to dip your finger in, so some people don't like to put their finger into a little jar. Um, and obviously it needs to just be yours. You don't want to share things like lip balms just because we all have natural bacteria living on our fingers. Um, so the lip balm, I prefer this formulation just because I have quite quite dry lips. It's just a natural thing. I have dry skin and dry lips, so I prefer the lip balm. But the lip care stick is lovely and handy to use it at any time of, of, of the day. So lip balm, it's always also nice to put sort of slightly on the outside of the lip so that you can treat the very dry skin around. And if you have the little lines around your mouth, it also helps to give them beautiful structure. Beeswax, if you look at the picture of a bee's uh, hive or a little beeswax, it has the six-sided little um, brick, I call it, and that gives beautiful structure, the structural element to the, to the skin. So it is an excellent ingredient to use in both the eye balm and the lip balm to help to give structure to skin that is starting to show signs of, signs of aging. So those are our two lip care products. They're non-habit forming um, because they don't have mineral oil in them. Right, then we're going to come to our cover sticks. This is for acne um, skin uh, or people that have pimples that want to cover it. So this is a treatment that covers um, breakouts and pimples. It comes in two different colors. The one is slightly more uh, pinky and the other one is a little bit more um, sort of yellow undertone, the golden undertone. Um, it has got beautiful healing ingredients and it stays on the to cover the pimples all day. It really is beautiful. The aroma is also very neutral um, and it is a pleasant, pleasant fragrance to have on the skin. It won't dry out the pimples so that you have dry skin the next day. Um, but it will give it a, um, it will treat it medicinally. So you have two colors. We've got uh, number one is natural and number two is sand. Um, so yeah, it can cover a pimple very easily. Okay, then we're going to come to our exfoliation process. Dr. Hauschka has got a clarifying clay mask, which is ideally used once a week. And the more acneic or oilier your skin, you're going to use it more often. Step one and step two. So first of all, there's a clarifying steam bath, which has got um, an amazing amount of medicinal herbs in it. Um, it's got quite a, a special fragrance in it. It is very, very um, concentrated with uh, witch hazel, daisy and nasturtium, which are all blood cleansers. And obviously the, surf, the, you know, the surface of the skin is a lot of um, blood capillaries um, and it helps to cleanse and clear the functions of the skin. Ideally, this is used one capful in a basin of hot water. You can steam your face once a week for just three minutes. So I choose a day of the week where I know I've got a little bit of time at home and every Sunday I do my exfoliation. So I steam over a basin of hot water for three minutes 
If you don't feel like leaning over the basin, you can just put a muslin cloth or a face cloth into the water uh, with the cap full of this in it. Um, nice warm water, obviously not to scorch your hands and put your um, face cloth or muslin cloth, squeeze it out and then hold it against your face. So you can give yourself a beautiful, warm, fragrant compress uh, with the clarifying steam bath in it. And it just allows the pores to become free. So for a person that's prone to blackheads and congestion um, and breakouts in the skin, it's good for your, the healing of the skin and for the dry skin because it really allows the skin to be free. For a very, very oily, um, acneic, troublesome skin, you can use this um, directly onto the spot. It is a very powerful treatment to stimulate the healing of, of the pimples. It, wasn't, it won't dry out the skin, so you have this horrible surface dryness, but it really works to very powerfully heal the skin. So you can literally apply it um, neat onto the skin. Um, but a steam, three minutes um, a, a day, sort of every third day, so maybe three times in the week, you're going to have a very powerful effect on an acne-prone um, skin. After you've steamed, so the skin will be nice and relaxed, and the, all the things are, are the skin is open, so to speak, it is, it is flowing freely. Then we're going to do our clay mask. The exfoliating clay mask is a powder. So I'm coming to the end of this powder, you can see in there, so it's made of uh, loose clay, which is a special, a special clay that's found in, in, in Europe. You mix the size of a teaspoon, um, either in a little bowl or in the palm of your hand. It's very easy to, me to mix. So I use this once a week on my Sunday, I do my steam um, three, for three minutes and then afterwards I'm going to mix my clay. Um, I've got a little bowl and brush, but you can also just put it in the palm of your hand. You take a bit of warm water, mix sort of one teaspoon of the clay, one or two teaspoons of, of warm water, mix it into a nice paste and apply it all over to the face and neck. It, it, you, it's a proper brown clay mud look, so you do look quite amusing. Um, and then you leave it on the skin for between five and 15 minutes. Five minutes is for sensitive dry skin and uh, uh, sort of 10 minutes is normal and then 15 minutes for very, very dry, uh, a very, very oily, acneic skin, the longer for, the, uh, for that kind of skin. You don't want to let it dry completely. And the other special tip here is if you have dry skin, like I have dry skin, I'm going to mix a little bit of the soothing cleansing milk into the mixture. So when I'm mixing it, I go the clay, a little bit of water and my soothing cleansing milk. So then I've got a creamy clay instead of just a clay. So that's nicer for me with dry skin, for example. But if you have oily acneic skin or normal skin, you can leave it just the clay and a little bit of water all over the whole face. You want to just avoid the eye areas, so don't go too close to the eyes. Remember when we spoke about eye cream, we've got very little oil glands around the eye hair, so we don't need to exfoliate there. What the clay mask does is that it binds to all the dead cells, and when you rinse the clay off, the dead cells will be rinsed off with the clay. The reason why we don't use an, a, an abrasive exfoliation is that we, with all due respect, most people are a little bit over enthusiastic with a scrub and we tend to over scrub our skin. And when you over scrub your skin, you think you're going to polish it clean, but in fact you're removing dead and living cells. You heat up the skin too much and when you heat up the skin with a friction, you can lose moisture and then you become quite dehydrated and then a vicious cycle is set up. So with a clay, we're guaranteed to only remove the dead cells. The clay, when it is on, an, on a sebaceous gland, it pulls out the excess oils, which are also rinsed off. So for all skin conditions, it is highly beneficial to have this deep cleanse and the, with the clay binding to the excess oils and impurities that are in the pores. Um, used more frequently for oily acneic skin, we said three times a week if your skin is congested um, and oily and acneic, and highly beneficial for this, to speed up the healing process in acneic skin. So step one, step two, clarifying steam bath and the clay mask. 
Um, personally, I have to say sometimes I don't have time to do the steam, so I just make myself uh, skin nice and warm. I've done a cleansing cream and then I follow straight away with a clay mask. Um, but for best effects, the clarifying steam bath is going to be more beneficial, especially for the oily, congested skins. So once a week for normal people, normal skin, but the more oily, acne, congested, blackheads, pimples, breakouts in the skin, three times a week. So maybe every third day. And if you only have con uh, acne on a certain area, if you want to use it all over the face once a week, and maybe just on certain areas for the other two times in the week, that is also, also fine. Good, and then we've got four masks um, to use. The masks are treatment masks. Um, the Dr. Hauschka masks are way, made in a, created in a way that you can actually leave them on your skin all day, or you can use them as a 20 minute mask. It depends how much time you have. I'm usually in a, in a bit of a hurry with life in general, so I like to use a little bit of a mask underneath my day creams. So you apply about the size of a, of a big pea all over the whole face. So cleanse, tone, a pea size of my mask, and then I'll finish with day cream and off I go. Unless maybe so Saturday or Sunday, I've got a little bit more time, and then I will give myself a nice, thick, generous layer of a mask, chill for 20 minutes, um, and then just rinse off the, the excess. The four masks, very, very easily. We've got the soothing mask, soothing, obviously sensitive skin needs to be soothed and calmed. So this really has an instant calming effect on, on irritated uh, red skin. So soothing mask for to calm sensitive, irritated skin. We have firming mask and of course the firming mask is going to be for people that have got lines and wrinkles. Um, it has four different extracts from the rose. So it is a beautiful pink color and a pink fragrance um, and very soothing and calming for um, mature skin. So firming to firm. The revitalizing mask is the healer. Almost everybody can use the revitalizing mask. It, it's a slight uh, a green um, a color, very, very gentle green color. And this heals where there has been scar tissue, um, where the skin has been traumatized in, in any way. Everybody needs healing. Sun damage all needs healing with the revitalizing mask. So I would say when in doubt of which one to prescribe a few, if the person's sort of got quite um, normal skin or they've got a few scars, open pores, highly, highly effective with, with the open pores, helps to re-educate the muscles in the, in the skin. The revitalizing masks are lovely to use um, on the skin before a moisturizer or if you've got those 20 minutes, lucky you, wonderful. Last but not least of the masks is the hydrating cream mask. This is like um, double thick whipped cream. It is very nourishing. Um, it has a lot of oils and waxes in it that is wonderful for extremely dry skin. So the hydrating cream mask, um, not really suitable to use under a day cream because it is so, so, so rich. So I will use this after my clay mask for my very dry skin on my Sunday and I'll walk around with this lovely thick delicious um, creamy um, feeling on my skin for about 20 minutes half an hour even steam in in the rest with a nice warm face cloth I'll put at the end of the 20 minutes put my face cloth or muslin cloth into a basin of lovely warm water wring the cloth out and then I hold the mark the the um, the muslin cloth against my face and it helps to push in those oils and waxes so for my dry skin my skin just loves it and um, the hydrating cream mask will give the a, a dry skin a real wow factor when, if you've used it and then you go out afterwards or whatever people go wow your skin is looking fantastic because it plumps up with these beautiful delicious oils and waxes so it's an instant relief for very dry skin or skin's um, starting to show lines and wrinkles or very mature skin um, where you really need the skin plumped up. So four masks, soothing to calm, firming to firm, revitalizing is the healer and then wonderful for the open pores um, and the hydrating cream mask 
um, for exceptionally dry skin that really needs to have that nourishment. Very, very nourishing. Good, so those are the slightly unusual things in the Dr. Hauschka range and how they are used in a slightly different way.